Deuce McBride has been putting in a lot of work this offseason trying to improve his game, and I believe that he is only going to get better this year, and he might be the biggest X factor for the Knicks coming up in the 2024 NBA season. I want to give a major shout-out to my guy, Jawan Staten. Let me use that video. That is his trainer. Let me show the video. That's a lot of love. Shout-out to him. Show him some love in the comments section. Give him a follow on Twitter. And make sure you also show my guy, Deuce McBride, some love. Type those twos down in the comment section. For Deuce. You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. I appreciate everybody for stopping by as we are getting closer and closer and closer to the start of the 2024 NBA season. Shout out once again to Juwan Staten Sr., NBA trainer. He works out with Deuce McBride. He's been helping him get in his bag all summer long. And the things that we saw in this video Deuce McBride working on are things that I think are going to take his game to another level. That pull-up jumper in transition. He can add that. Then a counter move off the pull-up in transition. And then a guy just getting downhill and continuing to improve his game in the paint. If he can pull off a pull-up three in transition, a one-dribble pull-up off the pump fake from three in the mid-range, Deuce McBride is going to add another element to this offense. I believe he is going to be maybe the biggest X factor for the Knicks this year because not – only is he just an elite weapon on the defensive end what he has done to grow as a player on offense it cannot be ignored and one thing that I know all New Yorkers love one thing that I know all New York Knicks fans can appreciate is hard work is grit and grind putting in the work that is what Deuce McBride did the guy played in the G League this year and he also played for the big league Knicks. Deuce McBride is a product, is the product of hard work. And putting in work equals production. And that is Miles McBride. Look at his career stats and the evolution of his career. His rookie season, he played in 40 games, barely played any minutes, and he shot just 25% from downtown. And the next year, put in the work, got better, up to 29 0.9% from downtown. And then what about the next year? Up to 41% from three. The work is evident in the results. The catch and shoot three point percentage from Deuce McBride continues to rise at a extremely high rate. 27.8% on catch and shoot threes in his rookie year. 32% in his sophomore season. And then his third year in the NBA this past year. 42.2% on catch and shoot threes. That is at an extremely high number, and it's one of the higher numbers of guards off the bench in the NBA. But it's not just his ability to become a deep three-point shooter, a catch-and-shoot guy. He is someone that has improved tremendously at attacking the basket and getting the ball to fall on creative layups. How many times in the postseason do we see him go to the lane and he's throwing up almost like a left-handed sky hook off the top of the glass? Two years ago, or I guess that was... Yeah, two years ago, he shot 51% on layups. This past year, he almost shot 60% on layups. And when his number is called, when he has to be inserted into the starting lineup, he finds a way to produce. In 14 starts last year, Miles McBride averaged 17.9 points per game, 4.1 dimes, and he had an electric shooting stretch. North of 45% for the field and north of 40% from downtown. The ability for when a guy like Jalen Brunson gets hurt, or a guy like Mikhail Bridges gets hurt, or OG and Anobi, or last year, DiVincenzo or Hart, you could throw in Deuce McBride and he's not going to miss a beat in the starting lineup. Look, he played 19 and a half minutes per game in the regular season. He saw that jump to 26.7 minutes per game in the playoffs. Deuce McBride was a major piece of the postseason success that the New York Knicks had last year. He shot 37% from three. I believe that is only going to get better. Why do I believe, though, that he's the X factor for the Knicks? Because when he plays and he produces, outside of Brunson, Hart, OG, in my opinion, he's got maybe the strongest sway on Knicks wins. The Knicks were 13-5 and last year when Deuce made three threes in a game. 
The Knicks were 16 and 9 when Deuce made two plus threes in a game. When Deuce plays, the Knicks win. When Deuce hits shots like he did all year last year, the Deuce, uh, the Deuce, the Knicks, they win a lot of games. The craziest thing about today's video is that we haven't even talked about the impact that he makes on the defensive end. We showed you his shooting numbers, his improvement as a shooter, his improvement as a scorer, his growth as someone that can finish around the basket. But his number one tool in his bag is being an elite defensive player. He did that against Tyrese Maxey in the playoffs when the Knicks needed it. He did that against Tyrese Halliburton in the playoffs when the Knicks needed it. And he also did it against the best point guard in NBA history in the regular season. No stats around the corner. But first, I got to give a major shout out to today's sponsor, Price Picks. If you like playing daily fantasy sports, do it with Price Picks. It's PricePicks.com slash CLNS. And if you use that promo code CLNS and put five, put a $5 lineup in, they're going to give you 50 dollars for free you win big money and you can withdraw your winnings at any time right now price picks already has some season long lineups that you can go out and play so if you want to be there before the season starts you can go ahead and do that right now but they have football baseball basketball nascar college football college baseball college basketball they've got it all at price picks and that's where you should go pricepicks.com slash clns promo code clns be a real one. Support the show. Support the sponsor. Turn $5 into $50 for free. PricePix.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Everyone knows that Deuce McBride is an elite defender. That's why I wanted to start today's video talking about his offense and the growth there and him putting in the work on that as well. But we also can't sleep on the weapon that Deuce McBride is, that Tom Thibodeau has in his back pocket. Anytime a guard gets hot, anytime a perimeter score starts to heat up, Deuce McBride is able to go out there and make a major, major impact. What about the game from this past spring where the New York Knicks played the Golden State Warriors and they won? Miles McBride held Steph Curry. Stephen Wardell Curry, the best point guard ever, the best shooter of the basketball to ever walk this earth, 4 of 13. He held Curry to 4 of 13 with one assist and two forced turnovers. But it wasn't just the defense that he gave him. He also scored 29 points on 9 of 13 from the field. What about in the playoffs? Shout out to Tommy Beer. We're going to go to a couple of his tweets today. One of the best accounts on Nick's Twitter. Give him a follow. He is awesome, 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 and a super nice dude. Per NBA tracking data, in the 81 possessions in which Deuce McBride has been the primary defender on Halliburton this series, Tyrese Halliburton is 4 of 12, including 0 of 5 from downtown. And it's not, not dished out. A single assist. What about this? In contrast, in the 142 combined minutes, Hal Burton is matched up against either DiVincenzo Hart Brunson, the Pacers point guard, is shooting 52% with nine assists. Miles McBride, he had him in cuffs. But he did it all regular season, too. In the 98 minutes, Deuce McBride has, uh, this is still the postseason, excuse me. In the 98 minutes, Deuce McBride has been on the four in this series, talking about series one against the Sixers. New York has outscored Philly by 29 points. The Knicks were plus 29 with Deuce McBride in the game. The Knicks were minus 25 when Deuce McBride was not in the game. What about in the regular season? Dating back to mid-March, there are three players averaging more than 19 points per game while shooting more than 50% from the field and over 45% from downtown. LeBron James, Paul George, and Miles McBride. Deuce! Shout out to Deuce McBride, man. A product of hard work. He puts in the work. He reaps the reward. And he is more than just a happy success story. of A guy that was drafted in the second round, earned a roster spot, grew up in the G League, started to play in the regular season. No, he's more than that. He is a weapon off the New York Knicks bench. Anytime Tom Thibodeau feels as if he needs a defensive stopper out there, go play Deuce. Deuce can go play with uh, Jalen Brunson. He could play... I think he's more of an off-ball player, but he can sometimes play that point guard spot. He could play with Brunson. I want to see him play more with Brunson. He is going to be, once again, really good this year. And he's also on maybe the best bargain deal outside of Jalen Brunson in the NBA. Deuce McBride's making $4.3 million this year. Deuce McBride is making $3.9 million next year. He is 23 years old. It is criminal how underpaid he is. 
He needs to fire his agent. He needs to get a new one. And if you're a Nick fan and you can sponsor this guy in the city, go throw him a bag because he absolutely des deserves it. My one thing that I am a little bit worried about with Deuce this year is, does he get squeezed a little bit out of the rotation with the addition of Mikhail Bridges and now OG in the fold for the full year and Randall back and Hart and DiVincenzo going to the bench? How much tick is a guy like Miles McBride going to get this season? Because I think the Knicks signed campaign for a reason. Be that veteran point guard off the bench. We've talked about it before. The Knicks view Miles McBride as more of a wing in a guard's body than a point guard. And shout out to my guy, Mensa. Does some contributor work for Knicks Film School. Super nice dude. Give him a follow. He's awesome on Twitter. One of the smartest Knicks guys I know. And this is his tweet today, and I thought it made perfect sense. He said, if we see 12 minutes of Julius at the five, he thinks this is what the rotation could look like. Jalen Brunson, 35 minutes a game, 35 minutes a game at the point guard spot with Deuce McBride playing 13 off the bench. And also with Mikhail Bridges playing 12 minutes at the two, he thinks Steven Chenzo could play 28, Josh Hart 8 at the two, OG 20 at the three with Mikhail Bridges 22 at the th uh, three with Josh Hart playing six minutes at the three. Then Julius Randle, 24 minutes at power forward, OG plays 13, Josh Hart plays 11 with Mitchell Robinson playing 28 minutes at center, Julius 12, and Presh Tachua at eight. Only thing I would say is, are we sure that campaign is not going to play at all? I don't know. We're going to find out. What I know for sure, though, is Deuce McBride will be better this season because he's been putting in work all off season long. All off season long. And he's only going to get better. He's 23 years old. And he wants to make sure that next contract he gets is not a value deal. It's only increasing his pocket because that's absolutely what he deserves. Make sure you are following me on social media. I'm on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. We're on Instagram at Marshall Green underscore. Hit me up over there and let's go Knicks!